G'day, I'm Scott McGregor. Welcome to my adventures down the line. And welcome to the fantastic South Island of New Zealand. Dunedin had become very wealthy through the gold discovered in the Otago hinterland. In fact, it became New Zealand's commercial capital. And testament to that wealth is the magnificent Dunedin railway station a true cathedral to the Industrial Revolution. Completed in 1906, it was and still is the finest railway station in New Zealand, earning its designer, George Troop, a knighthood. What I really like about this old station is that it's the departure point for the Tyree Gorge Railway. It's gonna take us west into big sky country, the central Otago. If you're expecting more green hills and lush farming country up here in the Otago, forget it. It's a very steep and rugged landscape. In this journey, it's just as much of an adventure now as it was back in 1879 when this line began. Tyree Gorge Railway is part of the old Otago Central Railway. Most of the track has been pulled up, except for the 40 miles or so we're travelling on now, from Dunedin Station up to Middlemarch. But when the line was in full swing, it played a major part in the development of the Central Otago. Thousands of tonnes of farm produce and hundreds of thousands of head of livestock were railed yearly to Dunedin and all points north. Leela and Don Graham own Lamb Hill Station and have lived up here in the high country all their lives. Once the railway was their only lifeline to the outside world, everything they needed to bring in or ship out came by rail. Well, it was very sad to watch the sleepers being coming down from the train when it was being pulled up. Oh, so as they dismantled the line? Absolutely, yeah. It's pretty... Uh, very sad to see it coming down. Right. Mm. Yeah. He's got a pretty impressive beard, hasn't he? Do you think so? What, don't you? Not really. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Careful, mate. She sounds like she might get the hedge clippers out yeah, one day. Right. It's a possibility. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like we're getting close to Pukarengi Station, which is the end of the line for this train due to track maintenance. To get myself further up the line, I'm going to have to be a bit inventive. Promising. Now, 
Let's hope we got a visitor, mate. Hello, fellas. How's, How's it going? going? Oh, all right. How are you? Good. Yeah, good. Hey, uh, you're not going through to middle parts, right? Yeah, we are. Yeah. yeah. Any chance of a lift? Yeah, yeah no, no worries. Problem. Jump in. Oh, look, I'm happy to pitch in if you so need to go. Well. No problem. Uh, so, I guess things are busy up here. You've got a fair bit of line to look after. Oh, right, yeah. See you later. later. Good on you. Hey, Scott. Nice working with you, mate. Good on you. Sweet as. See you later. Sweet as. Well, that's a badge of acceptance if ever I heard one. He's not a bad fellow, that Aussie. The tracks have been pulled up from here at Middlemarch right through to Clyde. 80 miles in all. It was a big railway. The old permanent way is still here, though, and it's now known as the Otago Central Rail Trail. You can walk along it, you can ride a bike along it, you can ride a horse along it. They even hold races along here. The only thing you can't do anymore is catch a train along it. But it's well worth the effort because being an old track bed, it's very gently graded and slightly elevated. So you're in the box seat for this magnificent countryside. This cutting has seen a bit of history. It's the site of the Hyde Railway disaster. On the afternoon of the 4th of July, 1943, the passenger train to Dunedin flew down the grade here and came into the curve at this cutting at a frightening 85 miles an hour. And right at this spot, the locomotive flew off the line and crashed into the side of the embankment. 21 people were killed. And at the time, it was New Zealand's worst railway disaster. How did this tragedy happen? Well, it was a combination of too much alcohol on the part of the driver and excessive speed. the old gold mining town of Ofa. She's a pretty quiet place now. But back when the railway was running, this place was a real hive of activity. Now, I've jumped off the rail trail for a while because I'm expecting a lift, which is gonna take me on a bit of a shortcut. It's gonna be an interesting one too, because it'll be a journey back in time before the Iron Horse. Hey, hey. looking good. When you told me you are going to bring horses. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this is great. Well, when you said you were going to bring a horse or two, I didn't expect a team of five in yeah, house. Good, you? Great. Good, good to see you. Good morning, good morning. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fantastic. This is excellent. What a rig. Oh, oh. <laughs> Meet Graham and Raylene Cathcart. They live on a sheep farm around here and love nothing better than working their Clydesdales. George, Bobby, Prince, Clyde and Dolly. So much so, they even use them around the farm for hauling and ploughing the fields. So coming down to Ofer with the team to pick me up was no problem at all. Another wonderful example what I call New Zealiana. 
a real feel the people of the South Island have for the history of the place and honouring the old ways. For his part, working with horses has given Graham what he reckons is a realistic sense of just how fast a man is meant to travel. And that's no faster than a horse can walk. Yeah, is that what uh, inspires you to do all this stuff? Well, the world's moving too fast. Is that right? We're running out of time. Hey. Eh? So is your idea to uh, to try and hold it up in your own way a bit? Yeah, but yeah, put the brakes on her a bit. <laughs> well, this looks like me, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, eh? Well, Shanks' <laughs> pony from now on. Back on the rail trail, yep, mate. Yep. Good <laughs> on you. That's fantastic. Have a good day. Yeah, good on you, mate. Good on you. You sure you don't want to run onto Queenstown? No, too much work to do, mate. <laughs> good on you. Good Thanks, Heath. Thank you. They tell me that Queenstown is just a hop, step and a jump over those mountains. Yeah, right.